welcome to the sauce mob hit that button that say subscribe and join the ride you feel me we coming up to 2k22 right around the corner august is when we're getting all our news so let's go back in time to when the game was phenomenal let's talk about the greatest 2k ever made and y'all already know which one it is let's go wrong button took flight oh look at that and rose above oh don't talk like that stop saying that word he changed the game they keep saying that don't do it don't do that and became a legend a legend. Yes, sir. Y'all don't know about that intro. You ain't know what he was finna say because you don't listen. That's your number one problem right there. Y'all don't it's know. It's pretty fitting that Michael Jordan was on the cover of the greatest NBA 2K game. Now, I could see the argument for any 2K from 2K11 through yeah. 2K16 being the best. But when you look at the impact, the hype, and the overall look package 2K11 that. brought to the table in October of 2010, I don't see how it could be topped. Come on. Of course, a decade later, the gameplay and graphics of 2K11 are outdated, and it's missing some popular additions that were later. The graphics outdated? This still look beautiful to me! They're added in other 2K games, such as Park and My Team. But when you look at 2K11 in its prime, when the game was the newest and greatest oh. basketball game that ever released, the energy surrounding the game has yet to be replicated by another 2K's Look release since. Dead. This is the game that ended NBA Live's chances at Get out of there. The, the game that took my player to the next level. Yes, it did. The first 2K to have classic yes, games Yes, it play. did. Gameplay that revolutionized basketball. Revolutionized. They introduced the whole dribbling with the analog stick back then. Come on, man. Come on, man. They revolutionized dribbling on this game. Video games. No VC, no microtransactions. None of that. They got to buy soundtrack. nothing. The game that built the foundation for 2K's rise to the top. This is the NBA 2K game that left behind Mother a legacy. Mo. Oh, don't talk to me like that. Don't talk to me in the old kind of way. I'm not these other people. Don't talk to me like this. You're going to get me excited. Look at this. Look at all that. Look at them tattoos on the neck. NBA 2K11 laid down the groundwork for 2K's domination. Yes, it did. This was the same year EA nearly released NBA Elite 11. <laughs> NBA the bar Elite. really wasn't high at all. If 2K simply took NBA 2K10, a great game in its own they right, and, and updated pasted. the rosters, 2K11 would still have been a massive success. However, even without real competition, visual concepts took it upon themselves to innovate further yes, and push the did. envelope of yes, where basketball games Yes, they game did. Game. They did Operation that. Operation Sports voted NBA 2K11 as the greatest sports video game of the decade, Ooh. noting that NBA 2K11 was a turning point for basketball Ooh. video games. It was simultaneously the beginning of the end for the NBA Live series, and the start of the true rise of, of the, the NBA 2K, 2K series. series. It, it was, was the game, game where people seemed to realize that, that NBA 2K was, was not just out there to out make the next game. yearly basketball game, but rather become a series that was a love letter to the NBA as a whole. In an era where sports games feel regurgitated in simply a roster update year yes, after year, yes. 2K11 felt different. This is noticeable from your first time booting up the game. Yes, it throws it you is. into Michael Jordan's first appearance in the NBA Finals, I could going cry against right a now. dominant Lakers team I led by Magic Johnson. The Jordan this game moments. felt like a time capsule of NBA history. This wasn't just a video game, this was an experience. Yes. Unprecedented at the time, the game featured classic teams that were actually licensed. In older sports games, historic teams did exist, but they had generic players filling up the teams. 2K11 actually got the rights to the players making up these teams, got their faces scanned into the game, oh. and immortalized these teams and players forever, oh. allowing people to experience an older era of the sport in a way that most never would have seen coming. Chat and y'all just take that for granted now. Oh yeah, there's just historic teams left and right. This is what started it, bro. Y'all be out here running around the park with all these custom Jordans. This was the first game to let you customize sneakers. This was the first game that had all retro Jordans. Bro, this game started everything. Everything. Are you dumb? This is a feature that many take for granted today. I just said it on my mouth. I just said that. As NBA 2K. 
historic teams year after year. But 2K11 now I'm about to get mad. Game now I'm about the to get mad. The game's mode was the Jordan Challenge Ooh. mode, where players could play through the most iconic moments in Michael Jordan's Hit career. Six threes in Not the first only did half. each moment have accurate teams and players, but those players actually looked and played like their real-life counterparts. Yes, and the nominations. players had their own signature animations yes, that brought them to life. Anyone who watched basketball in the 80s I've or 90s it. would have immediately I've been able to tell it. which player was which. The commentary and presentation was another insane detail to this mode. Oh. The announcers would actually talk throughout each moment as if it was happening in real time. Doris Give Burke would mention example. that a certain player who no, missed no, no, that no, specific don't just game due to injury about it. couldn't Give play that. Give us an example. I don't like that he's just explaining it. Give us the example of it. Kevin Harlan would mention Jordan's specific struggles against a certain team or player, or talk about matchups to watch. If you actually made six threes against the Trailblazers, yes. Michael Jordan's player model would we'll actually shrug. Shrug. Playing these moments made you feel like you were actually there, in that era, and it was magical. It's just one small feature that makes NBA 2K11 so great, but it really did push the genre forward. Sports games could be so much more than a mere video game. They could be time machines. The Jordan challenge was actually pretty difficult, which made the player respect just how insane Michael Jordan was in his prime. And the reason you did the Jordan challenge was to unlock the shoes, It bro. wasn't easy to average 11 assists over an entire NBA final series, or drop 69 points in one game. Other 2K games have had similar modes with their cover athletes, but 2K11 was the first. The hype behind this game and the game mode was insane as this was the first 2K game to have Michael Jordan in the game since he retired. Yes. An expected afterthought today, seeing MJ along with Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Patrick Ewing, and Karl Malone recreated in a video game for the first time was special. After completing the 10 challenges, you unlock a rookie Michael Jordan to use in the career mode My Player, and you can then see how Michael Jordan's career could have turned out if he joined the NBA in 2010. Look Speaking of my player, this was the second year of the game mode as 2K10 oh, introduced this. the game-changing career this. mode Look in the Look at it. You open your eyes. Not Hurry. much changed, but compared to the grand movie-like my career we see today, it's almost refreshing to go back and play this older version look, of my look, player. Look. It's simple and to the point. You start out as a D-League scrub and work That's your way me. through your career trying to leave scrub. the best legacy you can. You won't be locked into long cutscenes with bad acting, and you won't find the mode to be a tedious grind meant to push the player into buying VC. Yes. Instead, you'll find that this mode existed for one reason, to be fun. fun. Oh, don't get me don't wrong, it me. was still a deep game mode, however, especially compared to other sports games. Post-game press conferences meant something, as certain answers to certain questions mm -hmm. could lead to teammates refusing to pass you the ball, Ooh. or even the crowd chanting, trade him. But it wasn't full of flashy filler. It was just basketball. Give me and straight to the hoop. I think a lot of people hoop. today would prefer that. A me. game mode connected to my player that was exclusive to 2K11 was the crew mode, Don't talk allowing about users that. to team up with other my Don't players online, create a team, and play online against other crews. <laughs> people missed this Don't mode a lot as it was this. kind of like pro am, but with better matchmaking and more control over how your team's roster is filled out. There wasn't a park in 2K11, but some people might find that to be a positive. While the park is an insanely colossal and creative undertaking that no, no he's other- he's lying to you. We didn't need the park. We had my player Blacktop. It was the same thing. Our sports game even has a comparable game mode too. It was a no-brainer for 2K to monetize the mode and make it pay to win, which effectively made it a negative for many people. The same goes for my team. The association mode was the game's My League or Franchise mode, and it was super deep. Woo! In fact, NBA 2K11's association mode is deeper than the franchise mode in any 2020 sports game besides 2K. From Madden to FIFA to NHL to right MLB The down. Show, right 2K down. was so ahead of the curve right back then. Down. With NBA right Elite 11 down. canceled, NBA Live fans Get who bought the game, game and stumbled upon this mode were amazed at the level of detail, depth, and immersion. You could control and play through the D-League. You had complete stat tracking from the Hall of Fame, to team records, to player records, to league records. The game mode was an NBA database that grew yes, with was. your fictional universe. Oh, don't the presentation like of 2K11 was fantastic as well. While EA held the ESPN license that they stole from 2K back in 2004, 2K Eve. delivered a better and more realistic presentation with a TNT-inspired broadcast. Yes, sir. The crowd stands up and reacts during these moments. 
The sideline reporting of Doris Burke adds immersion and storylines to the game, while Kevin Harlan and Clark Kellogg do a great job at sounding authentic. Uh -huh. The halftime show was phenomenal. If you were playing 2K11 and someone walked into the room, they might have thought you were watching a real game. I of course, 2K's that. presentation has improved since 2K11, yeah. but this game set the foundation. Look at Vince it blew Zanny. away every other sports I'm game. Blown away Gameplay just was a massive improvement over 2K10. Defense was overhauled completely and it shows. The game wasn't as easy as people were used to. You can't simply hold Woo! sprint and drive to the rim like you could in 2K10 or NBA Live. You had to play basketball by passing the ball, setting screens, and using plays Stop to get an open shot. With these words. If you don't know how to run a playbook, you better Euro play a rookie. Step. Even playing today, the AI awareness of the defenders is impressive. This was the first 2K to put pick and roll on the left bumper rather than on B oh. or circle, which was a lot smoother and easier to run. The game released with 10,000 new animations, and almost Am every player had their own signature ones. Player movement and momentum is fluid and realistic, and while the gameplay oh, may feel a bit a, aged today, a, for its time it was unprecedented. The game's soundtrack was amazing. Don't talk this is pretty much unanimous, music. from hits like Over by Drake oh. to light music like Serious by the Alan Parsons Project, to, to underrated catchy songs like So Far by The Redland. This soundtrack slapped. I'm it wouldn't be a great sports somebody. game without a great soundtrack. In the description I put a link to a playlist of the soundtrack if you want to go check it out. A few other features in this game were the Situation Mode, which is a game mode I wish we saw in current sports games. This mode allowed you to pick two teams and yeah. create a scenario to jump into. Yeah. You'd set the score, time left, etc., and then jump into it. The game also had a cool feature where after each game you'd see a slideshow of screenshots the game took for you, showing the best moments from the game in cool camera angles. Mm -hmm. Beating someone online and then sending them the screenshot oh. of you posterizing them was awesome. We are going into 2K22 with high expectations. I'm lying. Anyway, chat, let me know what y'all think about this video down in the comments. I enjoyed it. I, I'm finna like my own video. <laughs> I had a great time. Other than that, chat, get me out of here and stop talking to me.